Hello friends, today we will see a mitral stenosis case with a clinical scenario. You are in an emergency department and you see a 42 year old female complaining of palpitation. On physical examination, you will heard a low pitch decrescendo crescendo type of murmur at apex. After this, you just ordered a ECG. Now let's see a ECG. You can see the RR interval in this ECG is not equal and there is no preceding P before every QRS complex. So you conclude the diagnosis of a atrial fibrillation. Now let's see a 2D echo. This is a parasternal long axis view. You can see stuck mitral valve. Now let's see what is this parasternal long axis view flask. There are two images. One is anatomical long axis view and other one is 2D long axis view. This is LA, this is LV. This is right ventricle in anatomical cut. This is RV in a 2D echo. This is aorta here. This is aorta. Now you will see uh, aortic wall here. These are aortic wall here. Now we will see mitral leaflet, anterior and posterior leaflet. Anterior is a near aorta. This is a interior and this is posterior same. Now you are seeing this area here. This is a pericardial effusion. You can also see here this is descending aorta. Same anatomically you can see this is descending out because upper slide is a normal anatomical slide so you can't find a pericardial effusion there and pericardium is in continuum with myocardium now let's revise again this is la this is lv this is rv now this is outer here this is descending outer here this is posterior left ventricular wall this is interventricular septum and this is right ventricular free wall this area here this is pericardial effusion now we will see anterior and posterior leaflet of mitral wall anterior is near outer you can also see this is a papillary muscle connected to mitral wall this is a case of mitral stenosis so both anterior and posterior leaflet are connected now you can see anterior and posterior leaflet are stuck together here 